So welcome back to the workshop. Today we're going to make some knurled brass thumb nuts for my PCB assembly frame. Starting with a 1 inch brass rod and a 5C collet, we face the end of the material with a high speed steel tool bit. Now we need to get set up for the knurling operation. I have a set of medium pitch straight knurling wheels in a scissor style knurling tool. We make sure that the knurling tool is properly aligned to the bar stop. In this case we're slightly off center. I didn't realize this until watching the footage back. Fortunately it's not too critical and it didn't affect our knurling operation. It took a little while to establish good tracking. A little bit of lubrication. Then we could engage the feed. Getting a little bit of chip build up. Let's clear out some of those chips. Cutting fluid can clear the chips better.
Cool. 15.6. Our target is 14.29. Six. It's a bit too sharp. Food probably needs to be honed. Let's give it a quick hone. The nominal size of the collet is 14.29 millimetres. Fourteen point three one. We're aiming for fourteen point two nine, so that's a couple of thou over. Not a problem. Beautiful. Okay, looking good. Time for the hole, I think.
decided to switch to a different tap wrench, one that's a bit easier to use. Getting a bit of chatter there, we'll deal with that in a moment. In the meantime, this is a good opportunity to put the chamfers on these two sharp edges. A little too much chatter there. The stick out on this tool is probably a bit too much. Let's change the speed. Ah, the obligatory spin test, just to see if I've got the right weight and proportions. Looks like we got a winner. Next job is to clean up that back face. 
holding the job in a smaller collet on the diameter we machined before. First we do the clean up cuts. Then we do some undercutting. I'm undercutting the center of the knob which will become the scalloped feature. We're removing the bulk of the material to relieve the pressure on the radius tool we're about to use next. This is a high speed steel 4.5mm radius tool which I ground on the bench grinder for a pass project. Then it's quickly back to the chamfering tool. To put a generous chamfer on the outside. And we match it to the other knob by eye. Back to the radius tool to do the finishing touches. Now it's time for some scotch ride. I'm aiming for a satin finish here rather than a polished finish 